All right, everyone. Um, welcome back to Beneath the Steel Sky. This should probably be the last video. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I want to reduce the temperature. Pulling the handle has loosened the grill. Has it now? The grill will fall if it's stepped on. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Oh, I got off there just in time. Is it this grill? Wait, 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 what was he saying? We're going to hijack him in the name of Joey. What? Oh, slot. I probably need to go there. There we go. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational, and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, termination is more than likely. Oh, lovely. Negative. What, what? about the guy in the tank room? <clears throat> Negative. The technician is an android. I advise you to avoid contact with it. Are you really the Joey I grew up with? You don't sound like him. That is unavoidable. My shell has a limited syntactic processor. Oh well. At least you're not so argumentative. Please be more specific. I wonder why these aren't voice acting. I want a detailed report on everything. Especially that android. The android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. Give me a report on the tank room. The growth tanks contain developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. The temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. Tell me about the growth tanks. Access to the growth tanks is not possible. Access to the computer is denied. It's weird how some of these lines aren't voice acting. Tell me about the nutrient tank. But some are. The tank contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So, without it they die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. It is programmed to safeguard the developing androids. Is he dangerous? It's certainly stupid enough to constitute a threat. Open the tap to the nutrient tank. That will distract the android technician.
I'm gonna save here. Even the Nevermind wasn't voice acted. Hello! I was not expecting Hello. a visitor. Hey, that's the guy from upstairs. The tag or upstairs. The one guy that we talked to earlier. Humans one, androids nil. <laughs> There's a weird fetus thing floating in it. Fotus. Whoever said babies were cute. You gonna say that for this one too? There's a weird fetus thing. Whoever said. Okay. Whatever's behind that door must be important. That's the most secure lock I've ever seen. No manual. Oh uh, yes, Link. It's a view of the reactor. Let's go in here. Ah, the terminal. It's displaying some. Don't shrug at me. Access the restricted area, I believe. Open door. What's the status report? Uh -oh. Walter 14 was the name of that android we just killed. Hey, it's you that dude. me the bother of coming to find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. But I didn't. think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Damn. Stop! Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. Ha! Huh. Nice, Joey. Poor Joey didn't I'll take his board as a memento. It's an android. It's an android. Aha! Another ID card from my collection. <laughs> Going here already? No, I wasn't. I need to go here first. Wait. First, I'm gonna save. Alright, for some reason my microphone turned off, so I'm doing this in post right now. Um, so we go into Link using um, Walter 14's Link card. We now have a uh, program called Divine Wrath. We really didn't need to do that, but it's all good. 
We do need to blind this one, though. And we can use Divine Wrath on the Crusader. <laughs> it drops a statue of an angel. So we go to the next screen, and that's the virus and the crystal right there, but we can't get into the crystal using uh, Walter's card, so we have to disconnect. Now remember, Anita is the one who had the ability to get to the virus, so we have to go back into Link using Anita's card this time. Just go back to where we were before. See, this time I didn't bother to blind the eyeball. Because you don't have to. You do have to do this one every time, though. Sager's gone, so we can just walk straight through. And this is what the tuning fork is for. It shatters the crystal. virus. Now we can move to the restricted area. virus has caused the program to crash. Ha! Alright, so now Link's been infected with our virus. Well, Anita's virus. So now we gotta grab these tons off the wall, use them to catch a fish, or uh, whatever it is in the tank. And then we're going to drop that into this liquid nitrogen over here. At least I think it's liquid nitrogen. Either way, it's cold. The tissue is frozen now. That's all that matters. It's a frozen tissue. I guess it wasn't a fish. There are strands of tissue suspended in this. Okay, so not fish. There are strands. Whatever's in there, it could be liquid nitrogen. Okay, so yeah, it's probably liquid nitrogen. All that matters is it's something that's frozen now. That's been infected with the virus. That's very important that we do that after we infect it with the virus. It's a fully formed android body. A computer for each of these androids. Hmm. A computer. You already said that. It's a fully. You already said that. It's a fully formed Okay, so they're all fully body. formed android bodies. Now before we do this, we're going to save. Because it is a 90s adventure game. There's an expansion port in the... Which would be perfect for Joey. A computer... Turned and looked at us. It's a full. Hey, wake up! Okay, so that one didn't work, so we'll try the next one.
That's what is that 849 gigs? Or is that 849 ter I don't know. I can't math right now. Either way, that's a very large file size for this era, 1994. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft and curiously <laughs> vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're used to it. <laughs> By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Well, shit. Why not? We tried to wake the if first they've one. they programmed, they'll terminate you. Whoops. Hopefully, I don't I die here. I think you need a new name, Joey. I concur with your observation, Mr. Foster. What do you consider an appropriate sobriquet? I'm going to call you Ken. <laughs> That's wonderful news, sir. Tell me, are there any memorable Kens in history? A Ken whom I might seek to emulate? All the Kens I can think of were dorks. Huh. Take Splendid. that, people named Ken. It will be my mission in life to make the name Ken synonymous with dorks. <laughs> How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing what's that when will i be getting the <laughs> accessories i don't know what you mean ears body hair those little decorative parts he wants a way you're better off without them believe <laughs> thanks for saving me from the android my actions were the only logical course what i cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. What did he mean by a family reunion? Since your mother was killed, that leaves only my father. You never speak of him, do you? That's because I can't remember him. Can't or won't, sir. Hmm. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence in a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man. The pictures in the campfire. He saw it too. The evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. Hell yeah. Never mind. Gross. I'm obviously supposed to put... Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Yeah, see, there's two of them, so we have to do it at the same time. Hey, rubber man. Hey, rubber man. What's wrong with you? I appear to have a problem, sir. My hand has melted onto the door. Shit. I don't like to leave you here. I'll be free in no time, sir. Have you got an axe? <laughs> no, I haven't. Why? You could have used it to sever my hand. True. That's unthinkable. Still stuck? I'm afraid so, sir. It's frustrating, to say the least. Never mind. So now we got <clears throat> we got to tie the ta the cable to the pipe support and throw it over the edge. Then climb down the ladder. So that's the center of Link. Hey, 
it's sucking and stretching out for nourishment. Yeah. It's supplying nourishment to that organism. Organism. So that frozen tissue thing that was infected with the virus, we gotta drop it into the orifice. Yes, I've poisoned the sludge. That this could be the second most stupid thing I've ever done. <laughs> the first was swinging into the uh, security building window at the very beginning. There's Pops. Father, hey, there's the dead council. Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away. I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds. Long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Ken, you're just in time. Uh, I thought you might need a hand, sir. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. That's Star Wars. What happened, Father? Link has rejected me. And without it, I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? Yes, I am. I hope you know what you're doing. Me too. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster. Can you ever forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Yeah, well, 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 well considered. Well considered. It was nothing but megalomania. <laughs> I had a dream. It's my second favorite the line after the analgesic line. But the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, father? The computer or you? Ooh. Robert. Oh, Robert. You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late. It's over now. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plan, Howard. Perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah, I've had it with city life. I'm certainly going to miss you both. Why don't you come too? We got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? I'm not sure about that, Ken. But I'll be thinking of you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins. Here's your wrench. Yeah. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Ken gives me any trouble. Goodbye, friends. And thanks. Be vigilant. Hell yeah. Alright, so that's Beneath the Still Sky. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it again. I'm excited to play the new one for the first time. 
just came out a couple months ago. Uh, I believe it takes place 10 years later. It's when uh, Robert returns to Union City from going back to the Gap. And anyways, uh, we will see you then. But first, I'm going to show you the uh, alternate ending to the game. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a review in the store. All right, here we go with the alternate Butter. ending. Why did it Ken. Okay, so Ken comes in. I've got He falls. All right, now this time what we happened, we don't tell Ken to get in the chair. Link forces us into Are you it. All right, sir. Do I look all right? Help! Mr. Foster? Foster is no more. I am Link. I am the future. And that's the alternate ending. Anyways, we're now going to go to my final thoughts and give it a score. And now it's time to give Beneath a Steel Sky a final score. Um, for these adventure genre, it will be scored in four different areas, um, comparatively out of ten. And then there will be two uh, personal areas, uh, my overall personal score, which is out of five, and would I replay it, which is a all or nothing out of five, for a total possible score of 50. First step is graphics. Um, with adventure games in this time period, they either try to go uh, realistic, um, in the case of Police Quest Open Season, which came out the same year as this, they went... Uh, FMV, which was kind of a interesting choice, um, didn't really hold up too well, but, and then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the LucasArts games, like Full Throttle, that came out a few months after this, um, that went more cartoonish, um, the graphics in Beneath the Still Sky are fine for the time period, it's pretty comparative, it gets an 8 out of 10. Story is always one of the most important parts of an adventure game, it's what keeps you involved in the game when the gameplay is kind of, uh, not as hands-on as say a first-person shooter and beneath the still sky story really uh, shines through it's the only dystopian um, adventure game from the time period that I can think of uh, harkens back to uh, the 1928 silent film Metropolis about the androids under the city um, and I give the story to beneath the still sky a 10 out of 10 when they were making the game there was a big internal struggle as to how serious or comedic they wanted the game to go um, the crew was basically split down the middle, some of the writers pushing it towards more comedy, some were pushing it towards the extreme dark. In my opinion, this really actually helped to balance the game out. Um, the little bits of comic dialogue really helped to uh, kind of alleviate some of the uh, overwhelming dread in the game and without being too overly cheesy, so I give the dialogue an 8 out of 10. The puzzles are one of the most important parts of an adventure game because that's basically most of the gameplay. Um, Beneath the Still Sky had a few uh, frustrating puzzles in it. Um, a lot of the adventure games from this time period did. They were a lot harsher than more modern adventure games, like um, something that you missed or didn't do hours earlier in the game can prevent you from proceeding at the end of the game. Um, Beneath the Still Sky had some really hard to figure out puzzles like especially the uh the freezing the tissue to kill uh the embodiment of uh link at the end kind of uh why would you think to do that type thing so the frustrating puzzles gives it a seven out of ten um i mean i didn't want to knock it off any more than that just because most of the games from the time period were like that and now for my personal scores, um, like my FPS scoring, these are both out of five. Um, for my personal score, uh, I, I give it a perfect five out of five. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I've played through it several times. I plan to play through it again. I'm very excited to play the new one. 
And now uh, for the final one, would I replay the game? This is an all or nothing out of five. Yes, I would. I plan on doing it. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess it's five points. So now that gives it an overall score of 43 out of 50 with a comparative score of 86 out of 100 if we were to compare it to the FPS games. And yeah, that is the end of Beneath a Still Sky. We are going to start Beyond a New Sky here soon, or Beyond a New Sky, Beyond a Still Sky here soon. Uh, we're also going to be doing uh, Doom 64. Neither of these games I've ever played before, so the next two games we're going to be playing on this channel will be brand new to me, and we will see you then.